The day has finally come, the day you've been waiting for, the day you get to find out what's inside my FPV bag. Wow, amazing. Sleek, nice looking backpack. I figure I'd make this video because I got a new bag, <gasps> but that's a surprise. We're gonna do a new bag unboxing. So there's a nice little pocket over here and you can stick, I put like extra cords, extra 3D prints, um, business cards for my hair salon and my snake business. I know they're beautiful. Then we have a side pocket over here and this has a wonderful tool. Any of you filmmakers need one of these because you can basically take it and clamp it onto anywhere. And after you clamp it onto things, you can adjust this and move it around to do different things. So sometimes you see my interesting videos. I take that and I connect it to my Insta360. And this is a special camera. Lens on one side and it has a lens on the other side too. So it films everything. I'll stick it on this stick. When I take this stick, it extends super far. I connect it onto the tip of this basically anywhere and capture amazing raw riveting footage now the main event we're going deep inside to the main pocket both sides open nicely oh also this has a nice little magnet thing and you can stick stuff in there it also has a nice lock you can lock it <laughs> over here we have power outlet so if you were to plug a power bank into the then you can feed it but like to me and like why would i even do that just plug directly to the power bank so it's an interesting feature but not amazing and then we go into the package and look what we have we have cute discuses we have two little discuses ready and waiting to fly i used to fly around with this little newbie drone kit which was garbage like the nicest thing about this kit was the container and the solder because nothing else is still here i'd have this and i'd be ready to basically repair my drones you need to have at least two drones because when you have two drones you can fly and you have double the chances of being able to continue flying but when all you have is one drone and then you have an accident then you have to spend time fixing it soldering doing all that stuff i'd rather just not carry that stuff and have two drones oh, such a beautiful beautiful drone you need 10 of them these are different because see, this one like lows down and this one is straight up. Wow, that's that's so amazing. They're, so they're like brothers and sisters, but they have different things. Yeah, they do have different parts. And one is big and one is short. That's a very good observation. Now we have a DJI bag, but guess what? This thing is terrible for taking the DJI uh, goggles. Boom! Skyzone 04X and the this thing it's great it actually does work well i do some testing but it's just i already know it works better so to make a video just to show you that it works better i don't really care to <laughs> just trust that those antennas are good antennas so powering our sky zones once again is another dji product this wonderful battery and it works well for analog goggles too a strap just in case we need it but i never use it Thank you, Beta FPV, for the beautiful strap. Send me some electronics. I'd like those a lot more. Little girl elastics. These are the greatest, most useful things you'll ever have. They'll save your batteries. The Radio Master Zaro. And the back grippies fell off, so I'm disappointed in that. The battery doesn't last that long, so that stinks. These, you have to loosen them. I have video tutorials about how to loosen them. And you can print yourself a set of thumb nuts because they're like little donuts for your thumbs if you're a thumber like me. These actually make the uh, sticks a little bit shorter because I took the tips off and then screwed them all the way till it's nice and flush. And then you can just nicely rub your thumbs. And because they're not as long, it's easier to push your thumb to full throttle where you're gonna be half the time anyways. See how nice and easy that was with the long one? It was like trying to extend it. You're gonna get carpal tunnel syndrome. Master Zaro, Zaro sits here, the goggles go here, and then the two drones sit over there. And then inside the smoothie, we have our batteries. So I'll stick my batteries in here and then when they're done, I'll toss them in there or I'll put my batteries in there and then when they're done, I'll toss them in there. That way I know which batteries are used and which ones are charged. Finest uh, props that there is, they are HQ props. I like HQ a lot more than Gen Fan. I just think they're made better, they're stronger, they last longer and I always fly my propellers until they break and die. Actually, I fly them until they fall off. So see, even this propeller here, it's cracked and missing the tip. But I'm going to fly it until it cracks off. We don't like to waste anything here at Toronto FPV. Also a little pocket here where you can hide really cool stuff. You know what I was hiding in it, but it's not there anymore. 
I was hiding. Oh yes. Uh, the new, the highest quality aluminum version of the Great Discus. It only weighs 10 grams more. So the regular frame weighs about 20 to 25 grams. This weighs about 30. Oh, get that shine on. Oh yes, the silver discus. We're building a digital. We want to make it special there. You thought you were just going to learn about backpacks, but you got inside information about the new silver discus. Oh yeah! Oh look, this has like, look, it says open. That's so cute. That is, wow, I'm excited. The photography backpack. Let's actually lift this bag. I can actually use this bag for uh, reptile products. Oh, it's a nice bag. I can feel a hard bottom. I can feel a hard bottom. Bag is heavy though. Is it really worth three hundred and twenty dollars? It might be too nice. Sometimes I don't like having things that are nice because I worry that someone will rob me. That's cool. So this thing goes here, and then because that other one would come undone sometimes, but. That's, that's pretty nice. That's a nice feature. The twists unlock. Oh, and then you put it. Does it lock itself? I like that it's waterproof. My drones are not waterproof, but I fly them anyways. These massive side pocket access. Prop. Prop side and little girl elastics, just in case. I hold my controller, I don't wrap it around my neck. I sweat and I don't want my sweat to get on my things. Oh, that's cool. Actually, this is nice for like having drones in here. It has like a compartment up top, drones in here. Feels actually, it feels nice. What are you waiting dun, for? Do dun, it! Dun, dun, dun. Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! Oh, that's pretty solid. And I don't even need a case for this. I can just put it like that. The big thing, the other one frustrated me was this actually would like, this would untighten and stuff, and in this it looks like it's nice and tight. The one thing is when I do put it on, what ends up happening is, uh, I'm fat. I like this grip, it's nice and like juicy. The thing actually that sold me was this right here. See, I can just stick my drones in there and just, they sit nicely right in there. So I don't have to like slide them into anything, just do that. Woo! and then close it and they're like they're nice in there it's not too much pressure instead of always just packaging digital or analog now I have both and I don't need to put them inside a container or anything see it's nicely protected it's like square and it doesn't like it doesn't bend into itself so I can take my digital goggles and just stick them in there nicely I can take my analog goggles and take them out so this is gonna save me time because I won't have to stick them, smush them inside a little bag or anything. The bag is designed for photography, for equipment that's much more delicate and expensive. There's a slot here to put stuff. There's two slots here so I can put stuff in there. We got our side where I can take my actual nice tripod. It's on there good. We got zippies on the side here. We can put, st oh wow. See this side zippy? If I just want to take my analog goggle out, I make rip and dips even easier. In my other bag, my tripod would fall out sometimes. So this thing holds it nicely in place. Then we got the other side, as to my props and my little girly elastics. Oh, and my strap on. My strap. The precious radio. It just sits there and there's room for batteries and my radio. And it's nice, it's not like, I don't have to worry about anything getting to the things. That's my new FPV bag. It goes in, it locks itself. Nice, I just have to turn it to unlock it, but it locks itself. Unlock. 
Lock. Nice. You could be my second Patreon. Yes, that could be you. What does that mean? It means that, like, we want them to give us some money. Do you want them to give you some money? Yeah. Could you please give us some money? Can you please give us some money? Avery needs a drone. If you would like to make a donation towards getting her a nice setup, because I'm poor. <laughs> I'm really going through a rough time. Like, this kind of stuff, the only reason I have lots of the nice stuff I do is because Amazon sends it to me to test. If you were to join us on Patreon, that would be very lovely. All the money will go to drone stuff. Getting Bubby a setup. We'll get her a setup eventually, but yeah, it's just rough times.